It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, May 24th. I'm James Spann. Unsettled weather continues across the state today, but the weather trends drier tomorrow. A big cold upper trough approaching Alabama from the west. Very anomalous for late May. And that's going to create a number of showers and storms today. In fact, check the radar at 5 o'clock. Heavy rain falling at that point in Huntsville down to Cullman. And again today, we'll see scattered to numerous showers and storms around. Not going to rain all day, but it will certainly rain at times. Starting off the day in the 60s and a very cool day for May. Only low 70s today, way below average around the nation. Temperatures pretty cool north and west of the state behind the trough. Flash flood watches in effect east of Alabama through parts of central Georgia and the Carolinas. No uh, flash flood watches for our state today, but we could see some strong storms across the southeast United States. There's a large slight risk, the standard risk for the Carolinas, much of Georgia and parts of Florida. In Alabama, we have a marginal risk of severe weather for areas basically east of a line from near Huntsville down to Atmore. The area is in darker green. We could see some storms with small hail and gusty winds today and early tonight. But the higher severe weather probabilities are east of the state. Tomorrow, a couple of marginal risks well to the northwest and northeast of here. Day three, Friday, a risk of severe weather for parts of the southern plains over into the Ohio Valley. And day four on Saturday, we have a risk of severe weather for all of Arkansas and some of the adjacent states, but no risks defined beyond that. Here's the rain for the next seven days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Heavier totals across the northern half of the state. Rain amounts there, one to two inches, lighter amounts down to the south. And after today, the next chance of showers and storms will be Sunday and Monday over the latter half of the upcoming holiday weekend, as you'll see. So check that out. Wow, here's the GFS, the O6C run, valid today at 1 o'clock. And that is a whopper of a trough. Digging down across the eastern United States. That'll beat down any kind of heat ridge that tries to form. A surface low is located south of Cincinnati. And again, we're in a very moist air mass. And uh, with cold air aloft, we'll see a number of showers and storms around today. But again, it's not going to rain all day. This is the uh, her model this afternoon at 4 o'clock showing uh, scattered showers and storms around. Almost like uh, summer with the stuff being fairly random. Tomorrow... We are in drier air. We start the day down in the low 50s. Some of the colder pockets could see upper 40s. Not many more mornings like that before the long, hot summer arrives. A really nice day becoming sunny with a high in the middle 70s and low humidity. Friday, we start the morning down in the 50s, but we warm back up into the 80s, where we should be for this time of the year. The sky bright and sunny. Saturday as the weekend begins, looking warm and dry. In fact, we might push 90 Saturday afternoon. As Memorial Day weekend begins, you might consider a slight chance of a shower with moisture increasing, but again, I think most everybody stays dry. Now, Sunday, we will introduce the chance of showers and storms for the northern half of the state. Uh, that's not to say it's just a total washout, but just be aware of that possibility. There's a cold front stretching from below east of Chicago down to Dallas-Fort Worth. And then Monday, that cold front uh, eases through here. Uh, the main upper support, the main surface low well to the north. So I don't think we have any severe weather problems, but yes, a chance of showers and storms. So for uh, Sunday and Monday, the possibility of showers and storms both days, but not an all-day type rain. And highs on those two days should be in the mid-80s. Tuesday, we are in drier air. Sunny with low to mid-80s. And Wednesday, a week from today, May 31st, end of the month, last day of meteorological spring, troughing over the east, and again, that looks fairly dry and pleasant. This is the end of the forecast period, Friday of next week, June 2nd. Heights about where they should be, and that looks fairly quiet. After this cool snap, highs go back in the middle 80s, Friday and Saturday, and for next week, highs mostly in the low 80s and lows mostly in the 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.